that everybody that doesn't buy the health bill, do you see the art of the quote? He, what, they should be strapped down and injected with scopalamine? In essence, they should be lethally injected. Now, excuse me, is that not a hateful thing to say? But see, Alex, it's double standards. What works for them is acceptable. What works against them must be put down at all costs. Well, yeah, like Obama says, put his poster up on stop signs. We're, we're saying don't do that. Put it up on legal places, and they're saying arrest me. So you can have the Obama thing as him as hope and change. You can't with me. Steve, stay there. More phone calls with Steve Quayle straight ahead. A few others. But something, you know, I see this stuff everywhere, Steve. And I hope you're wrong. But I, I, I understand why you're seeing all this and now you're being followed and all this stuff's going on. It's happening to me. And they admit we have Army documents that become mainstream news, how Ron Paul and myself are followed by the Army. You say it's happening to you. I believe you. Then I see how they go, oh, the Winter Olympics are coming to Canada. There will be martial law in the city. You know, that's the headline I saw two days ago in one of their big papers, like it's good. And, oh, there will be martial law in England for the Olympics. You know, they're just, they just say now no rights. No free to speech. They say, just like China, you'll be arrested if you even have a sign in your window of your house. And they're now announcing this for the G20 uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that's coming up. Uh, we're, we've got somebody inside National City Bank, National City, saying they're closing the branches there. I mean, this is just getting crazier and crazier, Steve. So there's no doubt they're trying to bring in tyranny. Uh I guess we can just argue about the time frame. Well, it's not only the time frame. I'd say this. Why, if, I think everybody should forget the time frame in one sense, Alex, from the standpoint of look what's happening now. You've been accurate. I've been accurate. You've warned about the camps. I've warned about the camps, okay? They're now being built. You can go on Google and see them. You've, you've warned about foreign troops. You, it rolls back in 2000. Now they're here in mass. They're not returning home after the national-level exercise. That's the key, okay? Before prior years, they did return home. You warned in your end game video. No, the Pentagon. I got to interrupt. The Pentagon admits they have all these new drills, and they're just keeping it going. Go ahead. Yeah, and you've warned, you know, in end game video that the Illuminati plan, the Illuminati's plan is for a mass blood sacrifice. Listen, nothing would delight the devil more than twenty five to fifty million people butchered in this country. You know, and again, look at they, they're they're planned. They're out in the media. They control the media. There is no. Such thing as truth and fairness, come on. In, in the mainstream media, even Glenn Beck and so many of the people that people say, well, they're telling the truth. It's not what they say, it's what they're not allowed to say. And we're actually in a medically declared state of emergency under Level 6 of the World Health Organization. The only logical conclusion, Alex, is now they're going to do what you and I have warned about, and it's hard. Listen, I understand it's as hard for you and me, having warned about it all these years, to grasp the fact that it's no longer future, it's here. That's why people need to get their, their food now. They need to get whatever they're going to get. And I tell everybody, and I told some people that came in my store yesterday, if today is the last day that you could go to the store to prepare, how long could you last? One person said two weeks, one person said two months. I said, And then, and then they said, but what do we do after that? I said, after that, the plans are for you to die. And again, see, this is not warm and fuzzy. This is not cuddly and cute. This is reality, and you quote Stalin, the purges of Stalin, Mao, uh, all of the great uh, destruction that has taken place in the history of the world. And people saw it coming, and those who could spoke up, but those who were silent, those are the ones that if they weren't killed immediately, had to live with the rest of their lives of knowing when they could have done something, they could have said something, they could have stood for anything. They stood for nothing and watched the... And it, didn't, and it didn't happen here because we've had guns and have been willing to defend ourselves. Absolutely, and that's why they're going for the guns. Look, they wouldn't be GPSing. When, someone, when I meet someone from NORTHCOM and they tell me that... Hold on, having, we were telling them they were GPSing for the census and to mark homes for law enforcement before they even admitted it. Now they admit it. Go ahead. Right. And, and when I have someone who, who, with tears in his eyes, who works for the U.S. military in a command level, basically saying, Steve, they're going to use the air assets of the entire U.S. Air Force against the citizens. That, and, and, and th I'm telling you this, Alex, you don't just sit there and go, oh, that's nice, gee, I hope they don't. No, 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 Daily Cost said, bragged, we're in control now, we'll use the Air Force against the American people, we'll get their guns. Right, but I said that, I said that before that even came out of the Daily Cost, okay? 
See, it's, it's not enough. I, I don't make this stuff up. Number one, I don't even know, you know, seriously, if I saw ranks, if I saw enough stars, I'd know it's a general. But what I'm telling you is when I know people that come in and basically can answer questions that no one can answer except them, and when they've got tears rolling down their eyes and say, the reason I'm telling you this is because I know that you're trying to save lives, and when I'm being told that they're leaving the military, and I said, do you mean like leaving, like, uh, you know, going AWOL? They said, I'll do whatever I have to do to get back to my family, but I'm not going to take part in the selective, quote his words, carpet bombing of Americans in American cities. So when I hear of F-16s, circling over specific areas no no we've had we've had blackhawks cobras sea cobras chinooks uh b2 bombers flying over austin in the last two weeks during nle 09 yeah, absolutely now they're a 10s and everything look i was told by uh by a uh, let's just say that someone who hates my guts he said we won't even waste a bullet on you you get a hellfire missile I said, well, you may get your Hellfire missile off, pal, but you end up in hell. And I meant that, not as a sarcastic, you know, gee, what's a good comeback? So the thing that I'm trying to tell you is, is that what do they do with the Taliban? Crap! They'll send a UAV with Hellfires against them. So why is it any different? Why is it any different, Alex? It isn't. It's just that we cannot believe, as Americans who have enjoyed the freedom of our God-given rights, ooh, maybe we shouldn't forget him, that we had something, and because of apathy and difference, I'm not talking about you, I'm not talking about me and the others who have carried this fight on for so long, but because of apathy and difference and entertainment, the greatest mind melt, and I could use another word, but I won't, uh, 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 medium that's ever been invented, we have been lulled to sleep. We are in a state. Of well, bottom line, animation. we got to wake up or it's going to get worse. Let's talk to Dan in Texas. Dan, you're on the air with Steve Quell, stevequell.com. Go ahead. Um, Steve's right. Ebola was created in a lab. I think Gardasil's Ebola, it has all the symptoms, a rash, red eyes, hiccups, internal, external bleeding. Um, a rash develops on dark skin. It's unrecognized. In pregnant women, it leads to heavy vaginal bleeding. Um, that's all common Ebola symptoms. The first person to ever get Ebola was in uh, Zaire, Mabella, Lokella in, in 1976. Yeah, right outside injected. a bioweapons lab, yeah. Yeah, he got injected with uh, what was supposed to be quinine. And then most of the women in his family died soon. Notice afterwards. they have new outbreaks in the U.S. and Iraq of troops after they get vaccinated, just like the 76 vaccine. Go ahead. So my suggestion is that Steve's right. They've already tested it with Gardasil. They know people will line up and just take this stuff. So it's going to be easy for them to scare it. They'll just repackage it into the H1N1. The labs that can actually see the viruses have very expensive microscopes, and they're all under heavy control by the military or the pharmaceutical industry. Well, those that aren't are coming out mainstream news, freaking out, going, this is some kind of bioweapon. I mean, I've got major German news saying it's got cancer viruses in it and asking, why is this in here? And they're just going, we're the eugenicists. Shut up. We love you. We, I mean, it's just so sick, the stuff they write and talk about. Well, they go and again, the they're, gonna, they're going to try and do that. And I'm saying that there's going to be uh, infighting and double-crossing and triple-crossing betrayal, uh, counter-force uh, war, uh, war within the intelligence community, specific agencies against each other. By the way, they're killing each other up right and left right now. And for those of you that doubt that, just uh, remember Roland Carnaby and the intelligence. Well, why do you think it's coming out on Blackwater now? We knew about the slave rings with the little kids and the sex parties and the wife swapping and how, you know, the, the, how the mercs were shipping in weapon systems to sell to the resistance to even have a fake war. Now it's in federal filings. This isn't just coming out for no reason. There is war going on within the New World Order. Absolutely, and... The head of uh, Blackwater, which is now called the XE, he stepped down, and he uh, obviously they're coming after him for uh, being involved in murder. But the the thing is, is that obviously when when the Illuminati or elite turn on their own, it's usually based on a change of heart. And I hope that's what has happened to the head of. Well, Blackwater. that's what happened when Lenin went to Stalin. They had a big blood feast. When yep. Hitler got rid of the SA, uh, SA right when he really got power on February 27, 1933, after he Reichstag, seven months into office, whenever they run these ops, or a few months into office, excuse me, whenever they run these ops, 
Well, you're saying it shows a change of heart. I, I've seen that a lot of times be a jump point when they're really getting ready to, to really start slaughtering. They first kill their own people. Wait, yeah, you're saying it could be good news? That could be it, too, because, look, if they're hanging them out to dry and they're throwing them to the wolves, uh, it's either for something he knows, something he's done, or something he won't do. Think about that. Something he knows, something he's done, or something he won't do. And, and I don't know the man, so I can't go beyond, uh, you know, just the stories of red. But I will tell you this. That's a huge red flag right there. Amazing. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Alex in Maryland, we'll start your call and hold you over. Go ahead, Alex. Hello. Hey, Alex. How you doing? How you doing, Steve? Good. Good. Uh, hey, I just wanted to say, uh, Alex, keep doing what you're doing, man. You woke me up this year, man. I always knew something was fishy and going on, but you woke me up this year. Uh, just got a quick question and a comment as well. Uh, one, I uh, wanted to let you go. I live real close. I live about six miles away from the, the capital right here in Maryland. And uh, about every two weeks or so, uh, you've got uh, officers patrolling the area in my neighborhood, a uh, housing neighborhood.